Complications of orthopedic surgery. What does the word complication mean? How frequent is complication? Is it normal to have complication? Should I have surgery despite a complication? These are frequent questions asked by the patients to the healthcare professionals. And I'm going to try to explain complications of orthopedic surgery. Doctors usually obtain a detailed history from the patient, and that is followed by a clinical examination, and most of the time, imaging is ordered. The doctor will make a diagnosis and a differential diagnosis. The doctor will talk to the patient about a plan of care, which can be operative, requiring surgery, or non-operative, and that's called conservative treatment. If surgery is chosen, then an informed consent is given by the patient, and this consent explains the chosen procedure as well as the risks and complications. The aim of the treatment, including the surgery, is to achieve an optimal function for the patient and make the situation better. And while you are preparing the consent, you must describe the proposed treatment, the method, how you intend to achieve this, and the probability of success. All of the rest of the procedure or treatment should be documented, preferably by a handwritten note. Explain to the patient a reasonable alternative and also the risk if the patient is not being treated. Consent should be obtained from the proper person who had the authority to give the consent, such as the parents or the guardian. This is what you should do before surgery is done. You tell the patient certain complications can be expected during or after the procedure, and you should state that at the time of obtaining the consent. After surgery, the patient is followed in the office to check for progress of the patient's condition and the recovery of the patient. The aim of the physician is to achieve an optimal function for the patient. In the post-operative follow-up evaluation, the patient may need therapy, more follow-ups, more x-rays, or studies. In every step of the patient care, the patients are informed about the progress of their condition. During the course of the treatment, the patient may get complications. What is complication? Complication is an undesirable event that may occur even after adequate treatment. An example of complication is infection, hematoma, drug-related side effects, failure of fixation, non-union, and nerve injury. Complications are not negligence, especially if they are specific for a certain injury or certain fixation. In general, complications are usually blameless events, and this is different than malpractice, which is a medical negligence error. Complications can be resolved without any serious problem if the cause is identified early and the adequate treatment is given to the patient. The complications and the effect of complications can be minimized by the physician taking reasonable precautions to guard against complications and should discuss these measures with the patient before surgery and the effect of complications can be minimized by early proper diagnosis and the proper treatment of the complication. For example, early detection of patient infection and infectious disease input to help in guiding the treatment of infection. When there is a known complication for a certain surgical procedure or a certain device and this complication does occur, 
then this does not mean that there is a medical negligence. No, this is a known complication for this injury or for this fixation. It is not malpractice and it is not negligence. So expect this complication. Watch for it. Let the patient know beforehand that this complication can happen. Known complications are adverse events in association with a specific treatment or procedure, and sometimes they are not avoidable. A lengthy discussion about the known complications should occur between the physician and the patient. There are certain situations in orthopedics that are associated with complications such as spine fractures, pediatric hip fractures, slipped epiphysis, calcaneal tuberosity avulsion fractures, antibiotic allergy, postoperative infection, necrotizing fasciitis, some joint dislocations such as the knee and the hip, Pylon fractures, open fractures are known to give complications. High pressure injection injuries of the hand can give bad outcome and a lot of complications despite adequate treatment. Also, some injuries can be missed and are known that they can be missed. These are just few examples. There are certain comorbidities that increase the complication rate in a patient, such as osteoporosis, smoking, diabetes, older age, obesity, drinking, corticosteroid use, DVT, and its treatment. Operating in the presence of deep vena thrombosis and its treatment by anticoagulation therapy will increase the risk of hematoma and infection. But sometimes you can't avoid it. You need to do the surgery and there is no way to prevent these complications. Operating in a diabetic patient with high hemoglobin A1c can be a problem. However, sometimes the treatment is urgent and you need to do the surgery. So the procedure that's done urgently carries the risk of increased complications because of the biology of the patient, not because of the surgeons or their technique. Casting and splinting can cause complications during application and removal. It may cause compartment syndrome, stiffness, and pressure ulcers or sores have a high index of suspicion for complications. Give the patient an early appointment in your office. Have the patient glued to you. And when you are in doubt, get more studies, blood work, x-rays. Examine the patient again, double and triple check. Ask your partner to see the patient. Do not let the patient leave your office without an answer. Try to find out the complication and have a plan to reverse it, even if you refer the patient to somebody else. And if a complication is expected to happen for a specific procedure, then it's probably happening and you just need to find it. In general, experienced physicians usually have more complications, but the rate of their complication will be lower than a less experienced surgeon. Also, a higher complication rate could mean that the doctor is operating on unhealthy, complex, and risky patients. The other guy doesn't want to work in these patients. Complication is a terrible thing for the patient, for the family, and also for the doctor. Complications are inevitable. And if the doctor doesn't have a complication, then he hasn't done surgery. A perfect medical record does not mean there is a medical perfection or perfect medical care. Complications does not reflect the medical qualification or the quality of the doctor.
However, there are certain physician errors that are well known. For example, wrong side surgery, medication errors, which is reduced by computerized data entry, diagnostic delay, it's usually infection. You got to think about infection. Get blood work, check it, and lack of follow-up. How about the wrong side surgery? Prevention. You will confirm the correct procedure and the correct site in the preoperative area before surgery and before induction of anesthesia. You will mark the correct site with the surgeon's initials visible in the surgical field. You will do a timeout with the operating room team before the incision. You will display the images and the x-rays in the operating room. If error occurs, acknowledge the error. Initiate a discussion with the family and with the patient later on. Apologize for the error and accept the responsibility, but don't place the blame. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.